So you start by searching for unblast.com. So you go www.unblast.com and you would land on all sorts of mockups that you could find. This is my favorite website to look for 3D mockups. So you could click on mockups or you could search 3D logo mockup to be specific that you're looking for a logo mockup. Because if you go just for mockups, it gives you product mockups, it gives you t-shirts mockup, and it gives you all sorts of mockups. So you press enter after you search for 3D logo mockup, and then you get to view 913 results of 3D logo mockups that are available on this site. So take note, some of the PSD logo mockups or even other mockups that are available on here, they will redirect you to the person that has designed that 3D logo mockup or that mockup. So this is sort of like your Google of mockups because it gathers all sorts of mockups and it lists them on unblast.com and then you find them in one place. Sometimes you can download it immediately from here. Sometimes it will redirect you to the, the website of the person that has created that 3D logo or that mockup because this, this website is for all sorts of mockups. So I want us to download this gorgeous freebie mockup. That's this one that we're going to be doing together. And I want to show you the steps that I follow so that you don't get discouraged when you're trying to download a mockup. You click on it once and then it opens up a note and it gives you the description of what the mockup is going to look like etc etc and then it gives further mockups that are available you are just looking for that word that says free download and you click on it once it will count down and tell you that in that number of seconds it's going to be available for you to download so you wait and then it gives you a start download you click on start download and immediately it redirects you to this website of freebies mockup where this mockup that we were looking at at unblast.com is there but now it redirects you to the freebies mockup the, the company that has created the mockup so it's fine you just come down you read the screen and then you scroll down until you find the button that says download and then you download, so we're doing it together. We're scrolling down, and then it says to us this, we can edit on our PNG transparent logo, and we can save it as a JPEG. So there's that button we're looking for. We click on download now. So once you get there, you scroll down. These are additional mockups. You don't wanna look up, you wanna download this mockup. So you're gonna scroll calmly down. It gives you the size, it gives you the license, it gives you the type that it's going to download as, the resolution, you scroll down, and then he also asks that if you want to have a design created for you, you can support the designer on Fiverr. So if you're looking to do that, you are welcome to support the designer that's sharing this design on Fiverr if you click on that link. We need to download now. He's asking us to accept the terms and conditions of using this freebie. And you read through the terms and conditions and you understand you can sell it and all of the terms and conditions that he's imposed on his design then you're going to click on i agree with the terms and conditions and then you click on download and then it opens up a drive file he has saved this mock-up on a google drive file you just click on that download for downloading from a google drive and then it's telling you that the file is 26 megabytes do you want to download you click on download anyways and then the file gets downloaded as a free simple zipped file what you would then do is you you're going to drag the zip file to your desktop and you're going to unzip the file by using unzip if you're using an android or a archive utility if you're using a mac and then it will open up and the file looks like that and it's downloaded it's unzipped 
And now you are able to go to photo P and you can use the PSD file. So if you are on photo P, let's quickly jump to photo P. You would then click on open from computer and you're going to go find where that TSD loaded on. You double click on the file and there's your mockup downloaded, gorgeous, ready to be used. You then double click where it says your logo here. You hide the graphics that he's added for us there and you place your own logo that you've created. There's one. And you size it, you align it, you go file, save as smart object, and then you click where it says freebies, simple logo once, and you wait, and it converts it to a gorgeous looking file. Last thing, if you don't want your logo to pixelate a lot, you go file and you export the PNG file and you, you reduce your width. Because if you don't reduce the width, then it pixelates and it looks ugly. So you can even make it a 900 width because it will make the file smaller and less pixelated. And then you can export the file. Thanks for joining me on this video. You can watch the other download file that video that we've done for a inspiringbeat.com PSD file. I will see you on the next video.